When I'm Holly. Before I made the Holly Jolly soap, I needed to prep by making the Holly leaves. I made just a small batch of soap and waited for it to get thick. Then I used the Wilton 366 leaf tip to pipe the Hollies. I preferred to do the piping ahead of time just so that I can pick out the best ones to put on the soap. making holly jolly soap and the first thing I'm gonna do is add in the coconut milk I like to get the little bit of coconut milk blended into my base oils I'm gonna tap out the bubbles out of the shaft And now for the lye solution. It has a little bit of lye lint in it, but it's fresh, so in it goes. It's not crunchy at all like a day old lye solution would be. And lye lint is just the sodium hydroxide reacting to the carbon dioxide in the air. It's no big a deal, but when it's super crunchy, I usually strain it out just to ensure that. I don't have any bits left in my batter. Now I'm going to get this blended to emulsification. is looking really nice I don't have any oil floating on the surface so it is just emulsified I'm not even sure if I'll need this spatula anymore probably not so I'm just gonna get rid of it so I have a plan here for pouring these all out and I've split it all up I've been very mathematical <laughs> so this first one it's the bigger one so It'll be easier to get it poured in. And I have a little marker for myself. So if I can't remember if I put it at the, the sticker at the top or at the bottom. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like I need to go to the top of the little piece of masking tape. It's a little full. I may regret that. And then this one is going to be for some red or some green. And same with this one, red or green. So into the big pot here, I'm going to use titanium dioxide to whiten it. And let's see, I was kind of wanting to split this up, but I think I'll go ahead and mix it. So I have my fragrance here and Holly Jolly is just such a green and just a Christmas 
it's a Christmas green for sure. It smells like walking into a florist during the holidays. The poinsettias, the ivy, oh, it's so good. I'm trying not to scrape the bottom, but I kind of have to. All right, so I'm gonna swoosh this up on the sides to kind of bring the uncolored back down into it. Just an easier way for me to make sure it's blended in. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. All right, this one. Here will be the gold. Forgot to get my little mini spatulas. I usually mix up with a popsicle stick, but oops. Oh well. And I'm gonna add in the fragrance. Give it a little blend. I don't want to blend it too much because it will start to get thick. So I just want to get that going for now and then we will reevaluate before I pour. So we'll do the red and green here. I just have some trial by fire mixed up with some Merlot Mica from Brambleberry, kind of just to tone it back down a little bit. Maybe give it a little sparkle as well. And then this is just some emerald from Nurture Soap with, let me think, some chrome green from Brambleberry. So I'm mixing Nurture Soap and Brambleberry colorants here. Let's go ahead and put in the fragrance oil. I didn't think I was getting the color there for a second. Did you see how it was just like pale? I was like, oh no. probably isn't going to be quite as dark as I wanted it to be but I was kind of running out of colorants. I'm going to start by putting in some of the white and then I'm going to pour some into this pitcher. It's over here off to the side. I think I'm going to start with the green. I guess we'll go here. I'd like to get most of it in. We'll see what happens. Looks like I have plenty here. That was wild. <laughs> I guess we'll split it up. Now we'll do whoop, some gold. This it is. This is full. So many things will affect the pour, just like that. Just having a full pitcher, the angle that I was able to get it going at because of it being so full, etc. Alright, let's go in with a little bit of the white to break it up a little bit. This 
this is actually my second batch I just made another one and I don't know it may be a gone wonky just from the design so I decided to switch it up and go with a different design on this batch so that'll be good and confusing when I go to list them <laughs> I really cut back on the red and green and yet it still seems like so much. see what we can do we're gonna add in some more of the white so pretty though isn't it goodness I actually like this lighter green just a little bit it's a little bit lighter than my last batch all right let's see I think I'll go with the green next and I probably won't scrape out the containers just because I prepped a regular size batch before I realized I was doing a holly jolly and then with the holly on the top I want to make sure that it um, has enough room to fit in the box so I may just not worry about getting it all in yeah all right what did we do next the gold again I think this one's gonna turn out much better than my previous batch though I think the previous one may, may still surprise me I'm really excited it'll be fun to see how they're different with the first one I did two equal batches of the the red and green and I just don't think that was smart after all it was just too much in the whole scheme of things. Alright, let's get in the rest of the red. This is a rather extensive batch. I piped the holly leaves and then making the soap putting the holly leaves on and then I will have to do the berries Whoops. wow that came out thick oh, it's so pretty And the rest of the gold. I think I'll switch over my spatula here because it's my favorite spatula. Alright, now for this white. I do want to do a hanger swirl still so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come almost to the surface and I am going all the way to the bottom and then going backwards I'm going to do a tighter swirl kind of right in the middle and then I was just going to do a figure eight and 
Oh yes, that's that looks nice. Now I'm gonna clean off those edges before I put the rest of the white on. Oh, I'm so messy. Mmm, that looks so much better than my batch before. So much better. I did just a little different swirl. Pour different, different amounts of color and sometimes it's just what happens and so now I'm just really happy that I had this second batch going so that I could do one batch better. So now I just want to flood on this white so I can just have a white layer here for my holly to go on. I think it's always funny, how come I'm not a holly collector, you know? Seems like I should be collecting holly things, but I never have. Kind of goofy. So this fragrance, I used to make this, and it was called Sparkling Poncettias from Rustic Essentials. And they discontinued it, which was a real bummer. And so, I talked to Jennifer at Be Scented because she was working on a lot of duplications at the time and so she offered to dupe this one or maybe I just plain asked her, I don't remember. And we decided to call it the Holly Jolly after my soap. So that is where you can pick up this fragrance is at Be Scented. And I don't always I'm not always like super sherry of all my fragrances because I blend most of them and then but this one is like legit from Be Scented and she did so much to help out to make sure that we could have this scent so there we go thought maybe go ahead and just give it a little bit of a design it's not really going to show or at least I hope not by the time I'm done filling this up a lot so this is probably quite pointless so I'm going to work on adding in the hollies that I piped and I just kind of haphazardly add them a lot of times they start at an edge but I think I'm just going to I'm just going to go with it and we'll work our way out these turned out so great. I love how these hollies turned out. I didn't even make this soap last year. I just, I couldn't get the fragrance in enough time. Cause you know, we start so early. So I went ahead and purchased it last year, but I didn't get it made. I'm trying to make sure that I have enough room for the berries and it just doesn't get super weird. But I feel like I probably should be putting it a little closer. So maybe we'll, we'll start squishing in a little bit. I like um, piping these ahead of time instead of at the moment. Not sure. Hmm, yeah. And I found with my um, bigger leaf tip this year which helped a lot a lot my other one was just so tiny so anyway the tip I was using I don't even I just got confuzzled so if <laughs> if this ends up a little confusing I'm really sorry um, but I usually use a much smaller leaf tip so I'm much happier with this one and how it turned out. They really went together nicely. They're a little bit, they're thicker, so I think that makes for a fun look. So anywho, that's, that's what's happening. It's just gonna take me a little bit to work these out, so I probably will end up speeding it up.
Okay, so I finished up the Holly placement. Now I'm just gonna pop on some gold glitter. I just love how gold looks on the top of these leaves. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. So what's next is I need to whip up the little batch of soap for the red. And when it's ready to go, we'll come back and pipe some berries. Okay, so here we are. It's nice and thick. It's still shiny. It drops off just a little bit. And I found that this is a pretty good way to do it. However, see, stirring it up, it does make it a little bit runnier. But I'm going to see how it goes. I'm not going to add a lot to it. I want to see how it goes first. then I do usually twist it over because it's gonna come out so I'm gonna just try a little bit here it is kind of trying to drip out but based on the amount of time it's gonna take to get it all done I think I'll just get started hopefully I won't <laughs> spill it around I made plenty of the red no doubt about it all right, so I'm going to try it. I kind of placed some of these a little too close, actually. All right. This is going actually quite well until now. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's a big one. It is still trying to come out a little bit, so I need to be cautious. Yeah. It's getting a little bit thinner. They will have like little um, tips on them, but that's just the way it goes. I think I'll go ahead and put one there. Even though it's going to come off, it's going to be cute for the pictures. I will move in closer here in just a moment. I'm just kind of getting it going here. Can't seem to remember where my... I mean, the top and the bottom are pretty similar on some of these. So, okay. I made a lot of red. I just did one pound. I thought that would be the easiest way to work with the whole shebang. Alright, so we'll come over here and we'll just, I really need my other hand involved I guess, just to help steady the whole thing. Oh, it's so cute. Starting to thicken up already quite a bit. I like to not put a lot of the soap batter in the piping bag just because that way I can stir it up again. Sometimes if you put too much in the piping bag I've found it can start to heat up and really be a pain.
Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm looking to see if I missed any. I'm not seeing it off the top right now. It looks like I got all of them. Sometimes I do some extra berries around. I think I will just to fill up some spots. So like just put in a few berries here and there where there's more white gaps. always kind of fun. And the edges a little bit because sometimes they can pick up a little bit of the bar. I do slice a part off of each side so it's not usually a lot. Let me look at this from a different angle. looking so good oh my goodness that's was that where I was going I'm not sure where I was going with that I just love adding the extra pop hopefully these will fit in the boxes it'll be a pain if it doesn't So I have the other batch to go work on. I have so much soap left. What I think I'll do is I will save it, of course, and I will use it for embeds. Because it's unscented, so that will be fine. I'm gonna top this off with just a bit more glitter. A little different one. It's still gold based, but it has more of a white background to it. Ugh, it looks so good. All right, I'll go get the other one and I'll show you what it looks like. So this one still looks pretty good, but it definitely got more of a, a swirl, kind of possibly over blended. So that's why I decided to change it up on the next one. It's possible it's just right here on the top, in which case it won't even be a thing at all. So I'm just going to work on this slab of soap and I will see you back here for the cut. I am back to cut this gorgeous Holly Jolly soap. I'm just so pleased with how this turned out this year. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just so fun. Now, I have a couple of loaves of kind of the white topped batch. And then I had that first batch where I didn't quite like the design and the top ended up just a little bit darker because the colors mixed quite a bit. And so I was quite nervous, as you can tell here on the end, it's quite muddy. But as it turns out, the inside is really nice. So I thought we'd cut a couple of loaves of each so we could see the difference. The swirls inside are just gorgeous. All right, so I always take a little sliver off of the end here. It ends up being a sample. I made this soap just a little over a week ago. So it's starting to get really hard. Look at that swirl. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's just so pretty. I'm really pleased with both of the designs that I came up with. This batch had a smaller ratio of the colors to the white as you can see it's just really pretty it's a very super swirl this fragrance 
is amazing. Just amazing. Love it. It's so cheerful, so green, so fresh, but it's so holiday. It's definitely a holiday fragrance. So the, some of the red berries are, you know, having to break a little bit. It's not, it's not really overall that bad. Like on this side where the berry is kind of like pop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was looking at the camera. I didn't know where I was going. These ones will probably end up coming off just because they're going to get beveled. Oh, here comes the UPS man. I feel like every time I film a video, the UPS man arrives. <laughs> I have a little monitor up here that I can view what's going on outside. So I'll cut one more of this nice loaf. They're both nice, but the whiter one I should say. And so I'll have to decide how I'm going to cut these. Not cut. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm focused on cutting. I'll have to decide how I'm going to list these being a little bit different. So pretty. I love it. It just came out so nice. And that swirl. Isn't that just the greatest swirl? Come on now. That is so pretty. <laughs> love the swirl so each top obviously isn't going to have a whole holly leaf and a whole berry you know berry section i should say this is how it goes with these skinny tops i could line them up perfectly so that like this one which i ended up cutting very poorly but like this one has a whole one that would actually look really nice to do it that way but I would have to do some serious work on lining everything up I tend to be a little too I don't know spontaneous haphazard <laughs> than that but I may have to do that one year all right so now we're going to cut into one of these other loaves and this one they were split equally, the white, the green, the red, and the gold. So there was a lot more red and green together to really kind of muddy it up. And I was so nervous, so disappointed, but it turned out all right. <laughs> it does have a little bit of a muddiness to it in some of the bars. I was just hoping this is focusing. I, my eyeballs and I are not getting along very well today, so I'm having an extra difficult time seeing if it's, if it's focused. So I definitely prefer this first batch. In fact, these go on two different trays, so I'm going to keep them separate, I guess. They still look really nice, but I certainly do prefer the way the other one came out. I have some speckles in some of the colorants that didn't want to mix in super well. I do use one of those mini blenders and everything and even still some of the colorants just have a tendency to be speckled but I love this green so I continue to use it. And some like this end was very similar to the other batch. Alright, so we'll cut this last loaf and we'll see what it looks like. I obviously have more soap on um, trays. I get five loaves out of each of those batches, so I'm only cutting two of each one. This one, it definitely went a little muddier. I'm glad that I switched my uh, plan, my design on the, this was the one I did first. 
and then I did this one second. So I'm glad I had the two batches that I was able to to switch it up. But look, I mean, it's still great. Look how pretty that is. That's still really nice. I may still put it on as a gone wonky. We'll see. Everybody loves the gone wonky. And that's all that gone wonky means. It means that the design wasn't exactly as I would like. The, you know, maybe it has a little bit of air pockets, etc. Still good soap, still came from the same batch as everything else. They're just bars that didn't quite make the cut. And everybody loves a bargain, don't they? So they always sell super well anyway. So either way, I go about it. I still have some very successful soap batches here. Alright, so here we have the Holly Jolly Soap. Looking super duper beautiful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.